Just finished up at the gym. I'll tell you what, I didn't get much sleep over the over the uh, weekend, and I was feeling it this morning. Feeling it this morning at the gym, but got it in. Got back on track. Put a plus into the wind column. Every time you do something good, you know, hit your macros. Have one of them consistency meals. Hashtag, hashtag consistency meals. It's a plus. Every time you go to the gym, every time you get a good workout in, it's a plus. Gotta get the AC cranking it. It's hot. And every time you miss a workout, have some bad times with your nutrition. It's a minus. At the end of the day, you want to have more pluses and minuses. Yeah, this one right here goes out to all the babies, mamas, mamas. Mamas, mamas. Went out to eat. We are out to eat at Dead Dog Saloon, one of my favorite places in Myrtle's Inlet. I got a uh, steak, just waiting for it. I'm out here by the water, enjoying the views. Sick views down here. Got uh, got the steak. I was gonna get fish. I mean, it's kind of a, a seafood place, but uh, I thought the steak was more value. I'm hungry. It's 10 ounces, big ass steak, and plus I've I've only ate two meals today, so I have a ton of calories, ton of macros to make up. So I figured the 10 ounce steak would give me some uh, help me hit those proteins and fats. Then I'll have some carbs to hit later. <laughs> <laughs> Four egg whites, two whole eggs, just like normal, eighty grams of oats. 50 grams of blueberries, 50 grams of raspberries. I'll tell you what, the berries make the oatmeal pretty. Gotta throw in two Splendas, multivitamin, vitamin D, magnesium, water. That's breakfast. So I started dialing in my nutrition a little bit a couple weeks ago. Then of course, I made that trip to Austin, so my nutrition got a little crazy. But I'm doing a, a little, I guess you could call it like a body recomposition phase. My calories right now are right around like, I think I have them at 2650. Proteins, 185. Carbs, 330. And what are my fats at? 65, I think. Yeah, 65. So, just just a sl the slightest of deficits. Um, I just want to clean up a little bit. It's been, shit, it's been years years since I've actually focused on any type of body composition goals and I'm, I'm like in a really weird spot with that weight and I have been for for years in terms of powerlifting because I'm only about 165 pounds and when I compete in the USAPL the weight class is 163 so I'm actually really light for the weight class which kind of presents a problem if you want to lean up a little bit in my situation. Uh, so basically where I'm at is I want to clean things up a little bit, lean up a little bit for summer, but at the same time avoid losing too much weight because I also have powerlifting goals. So part of this is trying to find a nice healthy balance to dial things in, try to make some body composition changes and improvements but also being very mindful of my weight and, and only losing a handful of pounds. Now, now I think just a few pounds, like maybe if I got in, even into the 150s, which would be, uh, you know, only losing like five pounds or so, I think from a physique standpoint, it would, it would make a difference. So that's really what I'm looking at here. About a five pound difference. Uh, I, guess, I, guess, I guess you could call that a mini cut, but uh, I don't really have a definitive end point in mind it's really just uh building up the consistency and and going from there seeing how things go grab two rice cakes as i'm leaving pre-workout snack 
heading to the gym. Not a big fan of eating in the car, especially rice cakes, but I have to vacuum this bitch out anyway from the past couple beach trips. The beach does a number on your car, especially when you have a <laughs> two and a half year old. Sand everywhere. Having these two little rice cakes, about 20 grams of carbs, perfect as a little pre-workout snacks. I haven't eaten eight since eight. Haven't eight since eight. Haven't eight since eight. Um, so it's shit. It's been like three hours. Um, I think afterwards though, I think Johnny and I are gonna go hit some lunch. Look at this guy playing business. I have a bench day today. Really, it's gonna depend on how my pec feels because up until this point, it's felt really good. Now, over the weekend, I went a little aggressive on the bench. If you watched the video from when I was in Texas, I did that single with 365. Since I hurt my pec, I hadn't done anything over 315. But you know, you get everyone, get the juices flowing, everyone in the fucking gym, get the music pumping. And of course, you gotta lift something heavy. Did the 365, my, felt, my chest felt amazing the next day. I even commented about it to all the guys. I was like, man, like I'm surprisingly, the, my chest feels great. Uh, then I came back, hit my normal bench routine on Monday. Today is Thursday, so I should be good to go. It's just, I woke up a little weird. I don't, I, nothing to be concerned about, but we'll see how the warm ups go. So the bench work went pretty good. Did uh, my four sets of five with two, 295, went easy. It was super easy, my pec held up. A little bit of soreness went away after I warmed up, so it was nothing too serious. It was really just, uh, honestly, I think I might have just like slept wrong. Something like my, my arm compressed underneath me or something, so like, there was a little bit of almost inflammation like along the sternum, but uh, felt good, warmed up. Got my, my bench work out of the way, and I'm just gonna do some accessories. Finish up. Is that you? Sir? What is this? Alright, so where are we going? Damon's. We're gonna grab some food. I'm hungry. Ready for meal two? You're ready. You're probably ready. You're probably ready for what meal one? Yeah, it's meal one for me. Meal one? 
trying to do the hashtag consistency on there. You're not on that hashtag consistency game? Not at all. No, not quite? No. I'm on the CC diet. It's a work in progress. Alright. In due time. You like being on camera, don't you, dog? Hey, sir. That one doesn't. So don't fuck with my food. He doesn't like being on camera. Bob, stop. He just needs a little water. You got too close to his food, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, sir. I like the new place. Thanks, man. Nice little Not too shabby, right? outdoor section. We had to run back to Johnny's house before going to lunch. So... Since this is the Absolute Progress series. This is episode one? This is episode this is one. It's happening right now? This is happening. Is this happening right now? A little physique uh, update? Yeah, a little physique update. We gotta have a, uh, you know, a starting point. It's like when I work with clients. I mean, you gotta have, you gotta know where you're starting to not only look back at, so when you make progress, but really just kinda give yourself some brutal honesty of where you're at right now, so. Can you see me? Oh yeah. Look at this guy. Step back a little bit. Back, back, back. There you go. All right, let's see it. Fucking jacked. So this is where I'm starting at. Uh, about 165 pounds morning weight. I'm gonna start tracking my morning weight so I'll document my progress, which I didn't even do today. So, so I didn't know I was gonna film episode one, but hey, we're on the fly here. Episode one. This is, what I'm, this is what we're dealing with. Not bad, not bad. Oh man, all right, so we're here now. Damon, I think this spot is right on, the, right on the water. Johnny picked this spot. It's good, good seafood. It is good. We got a solid lunch special. You guys will you enjoy get? the view. What are you gonna get? Chicken, always chicken. Chicken, yeah, that's good. What else can we really get, guys, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sir. So we're out to a business lunch. Making some moves, making some moves. Got some good ideas. Uh, that can't be good. I feel like I might end up getting poured on. Ah, poor choice. Alright, so we got. Grilled chicken, boatloads of rice, and some zucchini, some veggies, rice, nice sized chicken breast there. I swear they, I didn't ask for this. They brought this. I know, they, 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 uh, they brought us some. What do you got? Some. Those buffalo, buffalo chicken. chicken, that smelled really good. It's good, right? Sweet potato casserole, veggies. Man, that does smell good. Semi consistency. Semi consistency on that consistency diet.